hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here welcome and welcome and if you're a day one subscriber thank you very much for continuing to support may god bless you thank you for your support thank you for your encouragement thank you for your comments guys i'm so i'm so grateful that it's a month and a day after opening this youtube channel and i can say that it's only been god and nobody else because i couldn't have done it on my own strength yeah so guys today i just wanted to come on here and enlighten ourselves on something and i was i was thinking about something about how god was gracious enough to give us people in our lives ever since we were young people who could direct us to the church people who took us to church to know the word of god to know god as early as as we as early as we were children if i can say that so if it weren't for these people and for these people's hearkening to god's voice and 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 permitting god to use them to like save us because literally that's that's we were saved we were literally saved from this world because as much as we did not know god for ourselves and we did not know what salvation and what god entailed we were in a safe place you understand we were in a safe place because you'd rather be in the house of god rather than be out in the world doing whatever god knows what and you're not under the shade of god you understand you are in a much more dangerous dangerous place than a person who's in who's going to church who's 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 having some spiritual guidance into in their lives even though they don't really comprehend what's what's being taught in there what spirituality is what god and everything of heaven and every, everything spirituality means or entails but they are in a much better place than a person who's outside in the world lost who doesn't know god in any way or any shape or form so i'd say personally i'm really thankful for god for that opportunity to be in church as a child as early as i as a child uh because this literally saved me a lot from a lot of things if i can say this and i know it was in god's purpose for this to happen although i did not understand so many things about about church about the word and i'm so thankful for the process of being in the church as early as i was to this point right now where i can say i literally know god for myself and i'm so 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 happy because one thing one thing that would be so dangerous is to stay in church for all those years and you've never encountered god and you don't know what he entails what he's all about what spirituality means what it means to know god for yourself you understand so i'm so thankful for the process of being in the church naive and all not knowing anything about spirituality not knowing anything about the word to knowing god for myself so this didn't happen so long ago i remember it was in the year 2019 2020 that's when like god started ministering to me personally i started experiencing the holy spirit i started knowing the word for myself i before i could read the word and not understand it completely like i would read a word i still have that weakness still did but it's it improves every every day and every year and every time because you'd find that i would read a word try to comprehend it it was so difficult it's it still proves difficult even date even to date but it's it it becomes easier by the day so i remember i would read a word and get really fascinated i would really get 
revelations when I read the word and I would pray and really feel the spirit that the spirit of God is really heavy on me and I would really experience God and I, I really you know I really having the I really started having the taste of God in my life and in my heart and it is the best experience I can tell you guys it is the best best experience leave everything else in the world that you think is good and it's awesome experiencing God for yourself and testing what God is it's the best feeling in the world so over the years since 2019 to now 2023 2023 sorry I can say the ride is is getting better and better the ride is getting better and better I continue to know God for myself I continue I continue to want to cultivate our relationship, me and God, you understand? Because I don't want to be the same person that I was yesterday with God. I want to become better and better, know him through his word, like have, I've, I've, I've grown to have a routine, like every day I get to wake up, have a word, have some prayer time, have some uh, someone listening times, you all know I love Joshua Selman so much and he has been part and parcel of my growth in spirit, spirituality and he's part of the sermons that I listen to because he his sermons resonates with me so much and I feel connected to his sermons so he has been a very 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 big part of my growth in spirituality so my word for today was no god for yourself no God for yourself. Not from what you have experienced since childhood, what you, what you grew up knowing, what you hear people saying about God. No, that's not enough. You need to go deeper and know God for yourself. Understand what, he, what kind of a person he is, what kind of God he is, what he inquires. And all this you can only know God through his word, nothing else. You can only know God through his word. You go through his word, you dissect it, and through that dedication, he reveals himself to you. You understand? He reveals himself to you. He reveals the Holy, the Holy Spirit reveal, reveals himself to you, and you continue to grow and grow and grow. So mine is to... we are, Personally, I appreciate the process of being in, in the church since childhood, Till now that I can sincerely say I go to church for myself and for my own spiritual spirituality goodness or wellness because I understand what it is to seek God, what it is to live for God and what it is to be spiritually aware and I am so thankful. So if you're on there and you'd really, 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 really love to know God for yourself, just read the word of God. No pressure. Don't go reading from Genesis to Revelation and, you know, the whole of the Bible. No. The good thing about God, he doesn't, he doesn't apply pressure every, anywhere. And that's why I love, I love the journey. And that's why I love the journey. With God, you can take steps. A verse a day. A verse a day. Read. Memorize it. Memorize it, sorry, internalize it, learn it, and God con will continue to reveal to you more about the verse. And in this, and in turn, you'll get to know Him better and you'll get to experience Him for yourself. So, guys, thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you for your ears. If you're on there, I urge you to go know God for yourself. It is the best feeling ever. It is the best feeling ever. And Thank you very much for your support. Continue liking, sharing, comment, and may God bless you guys. Thank you. Bye.